Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Draw Talk. I hope you're all doing good. Now what do I have for you today? Well what about a, a brand new set of unopened Faber-Castell pencils and for good reason. This set has 12 pencils in it ranging from 2H all the way to 8B and now you might be thinking Dan why do these pencils have all these different letters and numbers on it and what does it mean? And so I'm going to explain all of that today straight after the intro. Now I'm expecting to do a few more shading tutorials in the future but before I do that I want to make sure that I have pencil grades covered, explain how they work and why you should pay attention to them and I know that a few of you might already understand how it all works but I just want to make sure before we move on to more advanced things that we have the basics covered. So for the purpose of this video I went out and bought a brand new set of pencils and I do have some more of these lying about somewhere but they're just scattered everywhere and I probably couldn't find every one of them so it made more sense for me just to buy a brand new box and then I can talk you through it so let me just get this open okay so in this set we have 12 pencils which I mean is quite a lot there is a set that has six pencils in it but it doesn't have any of the hard pencils I believe that starts at like a HB and goes to an 8B or something but once this is open you'll notice that one of these pencils have fallen out here but not only that you'll also notice that each one of them has its own specific pencil grade now I've done a video in the past where I created this animation that sort of explains it but let me try to explain again the reason for these grades and then we can move on to how you can benefit from it so to make this easier to explain I have drawn out 12 boxes as you can see I've laid out each of these pencils above this and I've laid them out in the exact same order that they came in when they was in the box and that order is from soft to hard which is essentially the same thing as dark to light now we have pencils with a B behind the number and a H behind the number now in this set we only have like a few H's most of them are B's and we have a 2H a H and a HB you can get sets of pencils that have a lot more H's and the same amount of B's but in this one we are just left with the majority of B's so the letter B here stands for the blackness the blackness of the pencil essentially means that the pencil is softer. The letter H stands for the hardness. The harder the pencil is, the most likely it is to create lighter marks on the paper. I'll also point out that the F on the pencil means that this pencil can sharpen to a fine point. And of course we know that the B stands for blackness, so this pencil that has a B on its own without a number in front of it, that basically comes before the 2B, so essentially the 2B should be darker than this B pencil. And then we have the HB, which is a combination of hard black, which is sort of in the middle, it's a very popular pencil, you usually find these pencils laying around by default. So now that we have the letters cleared up, the number is actually the scale of how much that something is. So this numerical grid scale here that basically indicates how much it actually is so for instance if we're looking at the blackness of pencils a 4b should be darker than a 2b and an 8b being the darkest because obviously that's a high number and the same works the other way around as well so the higher the number on the h sides that means the lighter that pencil will be because that means the harder the actual lead in that pencil is i've just realized as well that these two pencils uh, need to be switched around usually it goes from a H to a 2H to a, a 3H and onwards like these B pencils have done here but unfortunately I don't have any of them pencils to show you but you don't really rely too much on the harder pencils it's mainly just these pencils because these let you get them dark tones that stand out more I hope all that makes sense so if you're struggling to still understand what I mean, then I'm going to demonstrate now by actually using these pencils and shading in these 12 boxes. So then hopefully once we've finished with that, we'll have a solid smooth gradient from dark to light. Okay, so whilst this is in time lapse, let me go ahead and talk to you about the pencil grades and actually using them. Now you can see I've started with the 8B. This is the darkest pencil in the set, which means the lead is very soft, remember? One thing about the softer lead is that it will dull faster than the harder leads and require more frequent sharpening. Honestly, if you are applying a lot of pressure using one of these soft pencils, trying to get those really solid black turns, then you're probably going to find yourself having to keep sharpening your pencil. 
A tip I have for you when you are making dark shades with pencils is to create smaller marks and strokes with the pencil. So focus on really shading in small areas at a time and that way it will get darker quicker and it'll be a lot more consistent. Now another thing I want to talk about is how you don't necessarily need all of these pencils. For instance if I used a 4B I could most likely achieve the same shades as I would with a 6B by just applying more pressure on the paper. You can see that there isn't much of a change in the results of these soft pencils even though I'm applying the same consistent amount of pressure throughout. But as we move on you'll eventually see that the gradient does get lighter as we work our way down. You'll find that softer pencils lay down on the paper a lot nicer than these hard ones. As we get into the more harder leads, you'll see that it makes the pencil strokes become more apparent and thinner. Now even though I don't have any more of these light pencils, you can still imagine just from looking at this how it would gradually get lighter. You'll most likely find yourself using the softer and darker pencils compared to the harder and lighter ones and that's why this set is ideal for me because it gives you the ones that I tend to use the most. So finally we have our 12 boxes filled in and we have this gradient going from dark to light following these different pencils. Now feel free to go ahead and screenshot this in case you need to refer to it and remind yourself about how it all works. But hopefully as you become more used to it, it'll just become more natural and you won't have to even think about it so much. And also you might even improve the control of the pencil so that you can just apply more pressure onto the paper and be able to achieve all these different turns just by using the one pencil anyways. So there we go, if you was having trouble getting your head around pencil grades, I hope that this video could clear some stuff up for you. These draw talk videos are something that I upload every week, so if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, I really appreciate it. Other than that, have yourselves a great day and I will see you in the next video.